What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take here at Rosie's Corner. Grab all the pizza wing combinations plus hot and cold subs. Make sure you ask about the Meatball Bomber, the Gold Fever wings, and a heck of a lot more. They got the chips, the drinks, the sides to go with all of your sandwiches, and you can try the stuffed shells as well here at Rosie's Corner. Fish Friday coming up in a couple days. They will have the fish tomorrow as well. And, of course, the coleslaw, french fries, and mac and cheese sides for your yummy, yummy taste buds as well. All right, let's get to it. The Yankees, they're going south quickly right against the orioles remember when they used to call it yankee stadium south and yankee fans would litter the place you'd see blue and gray everywhere not the case man the orioles won the division last year they're the team to beat they have a more complete younger better more versatile team deeper team better pitching and it's crazy because i don't think the yankees this this start that we've seen has been impressive i mean it started with the sweep of houston i don't think it's sustainable personally because I think the pitching, Cashman as usual, has failed to build the roster, and he's relying on Carlos Rodon, who I know is at times, last outing was great, but at times showing some flash and others, you're like, oh, he's been really boomer bust. Him, Cortez, coming off a lack of production last year and injuries, Garrett Cole isn't gonna come back for a few months now. You're relying on those guys and a back-end miracle of Clark Schmidt in the rotation. I think you're really asking for a lot there, and then, you're going to have to tax the bullpen. The lineup, meanwhile, it feels like if it's not Juan Soto, it's nobody. He hit another bomb last night to the warehouse down in Baltimore. Camden Yards, by the way, what a spectacular ballpark. But look, there's some guys, when they hit together, fine. You get Rizzo and Bolpe and some of these guys going Verdugo, Verdugo a pop here, Grisham, a pop there. But is the lineup sustainable? Can they hit it together probably unlikely so now when you take that recipe when you take all of those things the ups and downs of the rotation the up and down of the lineup all those different things i just don't think it's sustainable where you look at a baltimore every night out it's rutchman it's mount castle it's all these guys together five six guys in the lineup you know are probably going to be there more times than not where the yankees have boomer bus guys aaron judge still has yet to get going consistently and we'll have to go from there I just don't see it sustainable in terms of trying to get to a championship level. I think that the Yankees are also, I said it for what, eight, nine, ten years now, I think that they're in the middle of a 15-year minimum window of not winning a World Series. Oh, wait, look where we are. 2024, last title was 2009. Oh, wait, maybe middle of a 20-year to 25-year window of not winning a championship, and all eyes are on Brian Cashman because of roster construction failure. It comes down to that all the time. Again, I don't think you have to win it every year, but you just want to have, with all those resources and the payroll and the scouting ability and all the things that the Yankees have, the Yes Network, you got to be able to at least build it to the best of your ability to play the numbers game to go to the postseason win divisions and once every x amount of years you do win a title you play the numbers game because you're there enough times right now the yankees aren't getting there enough right because last year they just missed the playoffs you're not getting there and then deep enough in order to have enough chances now they've gotten to the alcs several times the last several years i know that they won divisions and all the rest but making the playoffs again Last year, we saw that come to a halt. You're seeing the roster age quickly. LeMahieu is out and injured, and he's getting older. Cole's older. Judge is older. Stanton's older. A lot of guys. Rizzo's older. There's a lot of older guys on that roster. It's time for the Yankees to figure this thing out because the philosophies just aren't there from Brian Cashman's analytical world, and I just don't see this version this year, I could be wrong, but we're about 30, 35 games in. The sustainability of a complete baseball team, I just don't see it. I see flashes. I see uh, uh, great games here and there. You saw the series in Milwaukee where the ball carries a lot. Now they go to Baltimore. Good pitching always beats good hitting type of a thing. And, and that's the thing. The Yankees, they can't beat you 3-1 to one consistently. They got to beat you 12-8. to eight. They got to beat you 10-3. to three. They got to win those kind of games. On occasion, they can beat you 3-2. to two, But it's not a sustainable thing where you get the starters and the bullpen and the, and the hitting. And I know you play 162 games. I'm not saying you have to do it 162 games and, and, and you're going to go undefeated. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you have to win 125 games. I'm not saying that. You don't have to be the 1998 Yankees. But the sustainable part of beating the good to great to elite teams to get to a championship level. This model is just not there. The starters are going to start to wear down, which then wears down the bullpen. And we know the Yankees in the past six, seven, eight years with Cashman, 
They just don't hit with runners in scoring position. They don't hit in the clutch. And when they lose games this year, they're losing those 4-1, to 3-2 to two type games. It happened again last night as well, where Soto hits, nobody else does. You don't have enough there to be able to topple the opposition. And that's been the problem in the, in the postseason as well, where the starting pitching, despite getting taxed late, despite the bullpen getting taxed, if you had to pick the number one reason why the Yankees haven't gotten to or won a World Series since 2009, it's the fact that they have so many guys with two on, two out, one, you know, guy on third, one out, no out with a guy on second, whatever the case may be, they just can't get those runners home. Get on over here to Rosie's Corner. Pizza, wings, hot and cold subs and more. The stuffed shells are available today as well. And Fish Friday coming up in a couple days as well. They will have your fish tomorrow on Thursday with the coleslaw, mac and cheese, and of course, french fries for your lunch and dinner options. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.